Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm so excited to be reviewing some new releases by Chanel. Chanel finally released their Rouge Allure Lac in the US and of course I had to get my hands on them. I cannot wait. I also have a couple of different things as well that I purchased um, that are new and I can't wait to show them to you guys. I can't wait to unbox this box over here. I just received this last night and I did not open it. I had to be sure to open it in front of you guys and give you my first impression as well as try these beautiful satin lipsticks out. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. I am so close to getting 5,000 subscribers and I cannot wait. Hopefully I can hit that milestone by the end of this year. So please be sure to subscribe and help me out with that. I would really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the unboxing and trying out these new liquid lipsticks. These came out on Monday. I ordered them right away. And of course I used in the bag, which is a coupon code for overnight shipping. And I just received them yesterday. So really quick shipping on Chanel's part. So if you are looking for a last minute gift for your loved one, then definitely use the in the bag code at chanel.com. You will receive them literally within the next day. So let's go ahead and open this. I love the packaging for uh, this year. It's just so beautiful. I love how elegant it is. So there's 20 shades for the Rouge Allure Lac, and I ended up getting a trio set. Now, these lipsticks retail for $40 piece. So that's really expensive. They are said to be a satin finish that is super long wearing. So let's see how that really is. And I definitely had to go for that trio set. And this is what it looks like. Ooh. Uh, Chanel is so elegant. I love everything about Chanel. I am a total Chanel girl. So I definitely am biased when it comes to Chanel. They just create some of the best products. Chanel really has some of the best lipsticks available. They have different formulas that really cater to everybody. And I just love the way they feel and look. I can truly say some of my favorite lipstick formulas are from Chanel. And I did do a full review of the Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tene lipsticks. They did come out with new shades this year and I love them. I particularly love this color in a light mauve. It's so beautiful. I have been using this so much and it's just a beautiful formula that's so long lasting. It's transfer proof. Be sure to check out my full review of these liquid lipsticks. They really are beautiful. So also with my order, I ordered the Rouge Coco Flash in Coco Club. This one came out a couple of weeks ago. I have had my eyes out on it, but I didn't want to just purchase just one lipstick with my order. So I felt this was the perfect timing with the liquid lipsticks and this formula is so gorgeous I love it it's kind of a just put on and go you do have to reapply it it's not long wearing but oh this shade is so beautiful it's really pretty so we're definitely gonna try this one out and then I got some samples so I did receive the LeBlanc essence lotion and also let's see a perfume and this is Eau de Parfum in the exclusive de Chanel as well. So I'll be sure to try this one out. So let's open this packaging here. I'm really excited to see what the case looks like. So the outside packaging looks like so. Rouge Allure Lac. And these are the three shades. It comes in shades 64, 73, and 80. Looks like it, they are going to be really beautiful shades. Oh, it doesn't actually come in a case. There's just the individual lipsticks in here. That's okay, but I was kind of hoping for a nice little mini case that these can kind of fit in. But, oh well. This is the first shade. Ooh, the packaging is so beautiful and luxe. Love it. This one is number, this is the lightest shade, 64, yes. Okay, it has that bent type of applicator. Okay, so this is number 73. Ooh, this is a vampy red. Beautiful. Just swatch this. Ooh, this is really intense red. Can't wait to try that. And then we have number 80 in Timeless. And this is also a gorgeous 
red shade. Ooh, I do not have a shade like this in my collection. This is a vampy red, that's for sure. Beautiful shades. I can't wait to try them. I just zoomed you guys in. We're just going to get right into it. So first I thought I would try on the new Coco Shine and Coco Club. This formula actually gets removes very well. Um, so the other ones are long wearing. So I know that they're going to stain and you're not going to really see the true color of the Coco Shine. And I do really want to show you guys what this looks like in case you are hoping to get this color and shade. And if you're just wondering if it is for you. So this is in a beautiful red shade. It really is exquisite. Oh, this shade is beautiful. And I do see a little bit of specks of glitter in there. Just really tiny, finely milled. So beautiful. All right, let's try this on. Wow, I did not expect this kind of pigment. It is so intense and just being this kind of formula, I really didn't think that it would go on so saturated. Normally with the Coco Shine formula, you have um, kind of that your lips but better type of shades. Nothing this intense though, but this is beautiful. I love how glossy it is. And it just, it has that sheen to it right underneath with a little bit of a pearlescent type of look. So that is Chanel Coco Flash in Coco Club, a very intense, beautiful red shade, perfect for the holiday season. As you can see, with just a little bit of micellar water, the Coco Flash removes just perfectly with no stain whatsoever. So let's try the Rouge Allure Lac. And let's go for the lightest shade. So I'm going to start off with shade number 64. This is definitely going to be my go-to shade. I love how very smoothly these liquid lipsticks go on. They just feel very luxurious, definitely satin type of finish. It doesn't feel tacky at all. You know how liquid lipsticks, when you apply them as they dry out, they have that tacky type of feeling. This one doesn't do that. It's definitely beautiful. It definitely dries down. So I can definitely feel that it's dried down, but that's probably why it's long wearing. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have that buttery feel that the Coco Flash has but it's not tacky in any way. Feels so good on the lips, really does. The shade is so pretty. This is in number 64 in the Rouge Allure Lac, and it is so exquisitely beautiful. Let's see if this liquid lipstick can be layered and what it really feels like. You could definitely layer it for a more saturated type of shade and color and oh, such a beautiful shade. I am in love with this. All right, let's remove this and let's apply the next shade. That removed pretty easily. I don't see any staining or anything like that. So let's see, let's go to the next shade. This is number 73. This is an intense red shade. This is definitely a bright red, uh, not like the next one I'm about to try, which is number 80, and that is a vampy red, but this is more of a brighter red, so let's go ahead and try it out. Again, a very gorgeous satin red lipstick. So easy to apply. I really love the applicator to this, that kind of pointed edge. And also the bent applicator really makes it so easy to apply, especially a red lip. Now I am really curious to know if this really is long wearing. Like the Rouge Allure Tenet, those are definitely long wearing. They are transfer proof, but with this one it has a satin finish. So I don't know, maybe I will do a full day wear test for you guys with these, but definitely they're so beautiful, so easy to apply. They feel wonderful on the lips, not drying whatsoever. So yeah, a really pretty red lipstick. I got this to dry down a little bit. So I'm just going to grab a cotton pad. This has nothing on it. And I kind of just want to press it on my lips. So you get a little bit of transfer, not too much at all. I mean, I just see a tiny little bit 
not too much. I'm just going to use the other side. pressing pretty hard again just a tiny little bit just get like a tiny little bit but I feel that it does stain your lips so the rouge tene when you do this kind of kind of tapping with a cotton pad and also use your finger nothing comes off nothing it's completely transfer proof i feel like this one is in the in the middle it doesn't transfer completely uh but it still is long wearing so i imagine this kind of shade will stain my lips and i imagine if you eat anything or anything like that it's just gonna give you that stained lip shade that looks very beautiful so yeah i really like this formula i think it definitely is long wearing now i am just using regular micellar water to remove these lipsticks and as you can see it's removing them pretty well with minimal staining really i don't see much of a stain with that red lipstick i definitely thought that i would see a lot more uh, but it seems to remove it quite easily now with the rouge tenay if i use micellar water it will not get removed i usually have to use a balm type of cleanser apply it on my lips leave it on there for a couple of seconds and then remove it even then it's really difficult i just have to continue to rub uh, but this one gets removed pretty easily now let's try number 80 this is the vampy lip i'm really curious and excited to see what this one is going to look like i don't own a lipstick shade like this one this looks very intense so let's try it out so not what i was expecting i definitely thought this would be more of a vampy shade wow in the tube it's actually quite deceiving and even the swatches were pretty deceiving but that is gorgeous it looks so pretty it's definitely something that i would wear wow i didn't think that it would be this shade it definitely looks much more intense right out of the tube but as you can see it is a lovely red shade so this is in number 80 timeless a gorgeous red beautiful shade that i think would go with pretty much every single outfit and those are the three Rouge Allure Lacs that I purchased, and I think that they are gorgeous. I love the packaging, the design of the applicator that really makes it so easy to apply the lip shades, especially the darker ones like this one. And they're just so beautiful to apply. Their satin finish is lovely. I love that they're not completely over the top shiny. They're kind of in the middle, and they definitely do seem to be long wearing. I also really love the Coco Flash and Coco club i really love the coco flash formula i think they're so beautiful to apply throughout the day however being a red lipstick i feel that you do need to reapply this quite often and i definitely feel that with the rouge coco flash formula i would prefer to go with more nude shades more pink shades kind of shades with your lips but better type of look rather than a red for reds i would definitely go with either the rouge allure tenay that are super long wearing or these ones in the Rouge Allure Lac. These lipsticks are amazing. I definitely love the shade in number 80. I thought that I wouldn't like this very much because it looked like it would be a vampy type of lip shade right out of the tube, but it's a lovely, beautiful red shade, and I feel that it really suits my complexion very well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this review. If you are interested in purchasing these lipstick shades, then be sure to use the code in the bag for overnight shipping. I definitely feel Feel that you would love these lipsticks they are so luxurious and beautiful to wear especially if you are a chanel lover or a lipstick lover you will definitely enjoy these over the next couple of days i will be uploading videos regularly for some last minute gift ideas so be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video